Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Khan and I'm a software engineer at Scott. So me and my alumni team, we are uh, working relentlessly to make KeepDB uh, one of the best solutions for managing your uh, databases and monitoring their, uh, monitoring their specs, and, uh, taking backups, restore, and managing day to lifecycle operations uh, uh, in your cloud Kubernetes clusters. So we have recently released our KeepDB's latest version, which is KeepDB version uh, 2023.04.10. And in this session, we are going to talk about all the features and improvements that we are bringing through this release. So, so let's see what are we offering in this release at a glance. We are introducing the KeepDB one chart to install KeepDB and stash uh, through this release. We are also going to talk about our migration to GitHub, GitHub container registry. Uh, uh, then we're going to see how we are extending our uh, support for monitoring using Prometheus and Grafana dashboards. We have added a few uh, new version supports for several uh, of our supported databases. We're also going to uh, talk about that. We have a few bug fixes and uh, improvements. Uh, we're also going to see and finally, we are going to have the Q&A session after this, uh, where we can talk about um, uh, everything that we are going to discuss in this session. At first, let's talk about KeepDB one chart. If you are already a KeepDB user, uh, you know that earlier uh, in, in KeepDB's earlier versions, uh, you have to use a Helm chart for installing KeepDB and another separate Helm chart for installing a stash onto your cluster. But now, if you want, you can use the KeepDB one chart uh, to install KeepDB and Stash all together onto your Cloud Kubernetes cluster. And you can do it by a simple Helm command uh, using the Helm CLI. So this is the command that you can use. And uh, if you don't have, uh, if you don't find this chart, uh, use Helm repo update on your, onto your cluster and you will find this chart easily. And uh, using this chart, you can uh, deploy or install KubeDB and Stash all together uh, in any namespace. And you can use a single uh, license file. For the license file, you can visit to absco.com, um, uh, where you will find our license server. And from there, you can get the license to use uh, to install this chart. So we have migrated all of our operator images and all custom database images uh, from Docker Hub to GitHub Container Registry. And we are thinking about do, do, we are thinking to do this for a while now. And finally, we have done this in this release uh, with the growing features of KubeDB Stash and all of our infrastructure. Um, we have uh, we have to we, we wanted to uh, do we we wanted to keep our images in a better maintainable way and in a sustainable way. So. Uh, so we have decided to migrate all of our uh, images to GitHub Container Registry or GSCR.io. So in our feature releases, we'll be publishing all of our operator images, custom Docker images into uh, GitHub Container Registry. So one of the major features that we are bringing uh, into KubeDB uh, in this release, which is uh, adding monitoring support for Kafka using Prometheus and Grafana dashboards. So if you have a Kafka cluster running, which is keep to managed um, on your uh, cloud Kubernetes or, or your, on your any Kubernetes cluster, you will find that uh, in a Kafka cluster, uh, let's say that you have N ports or N brokers running and inside each of those ports or each of those broker, broker container ports, um, uh, broker port uh, bro broker containers uh, a jms exporter agent will be running and that a jms exporter agent will be exposing all of the kafka required metrics into a jm export or a matrix endpoint the jm export will be pointed by a stat service the stat service is created by our uh operator is created and managed by the kubb operator a service monitor which match the levels of that KeepDB um, of the stats service 
and the service manager will be matched by a Prometheus CRD operator. Uh, the Prometheus CRD operator will then send a dynamic target configuration. Uh, dynamic target configuration means all the necessary configurations to send the matrix uh, from the Kafka ports to Prometheus. And Prometheus will scrap those, those metrics. And finally, you can use Grafana as a data source. Uh, you can use Grafana and the data source can be set to Prometheus. And, from, and you can visualize all of those Kafka metrics in Grafana. So in this release, we are also uh, providing you with a uh, QDB built uh, data, uh, Kafka, uh, Kafka DB dashboard, which you can use in Grafana. So uh, let's see the YML, what are the changes in the uh, YML. You can see that we have added a new field in Kafka spec. Uh, in Kafka spec, you can see that we have added a monitor field where you can provide the monitoring agent in this case, which is the Prometheus operator. Uh, let's say you have installed Prometheus operator with Helm and uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the point the end after that, you'll find that the Prometheus ports are uh, have a label, which is release Prometheus. You can set any other level if you want. You have to provide that level into the service monitor section here. You can provide the Prometheus exporter port as well. You can provide the uh, interval of scraping the uh, of scraping the uh, matrix into Prometheus, and then just apply this YML, and this YML would create the server create the create the stat service, and the stat service will be then matched by the service monitor. So let's see what are our new version supports that we are providing through this release. So through this release, we're providing support for Kafka version 3.3.2 and 3.4.0. In earlier uh, release of Kafka, in earlier release of KubeDB, we have added support for Kafka 3.3.0. But recently, uh, if you see Kafka documentation, they're recommending to use Kafka 3.3.2 instead of 3.3.3. So uh, you can use those versions as we have support for them now. We are also added uh, support for Redis version 7.0.10. We are providing support for MariaDB 10.11.2. Uh, so this is one of the important version supports uh, of this release. It is MongoDB 6. We are bringing support for MongoDB 6 in this release. We are uh, we have added support for MongoDB version 6.0.5, and we have also added support for MongoDB 5.0.15. Uh, we have added several version supports for Postgres, uh, Postgres, uh, Postgres 15.2, 40.7, 13.10, 12.14, and 11.19. And finally, we have added a version support for Parcona Extra DB 8.0.31. Uh, so here are some of the bug fixes that we have done uh, in this release. So there was an issue. Uh, which is when the database ports were created with the uh, same name in multiple multiple name spaces, multiple MySQL in, uh, MySQL instances tried to own a single cluster role. So we have fixed that issue in this release, and um, which is now uh, uh, to in order to grant MySQL coordinator uh, access to MySQL version, uh, only one cluster role, which is MySQL version reader, is created without the owner refer reference. Uh, what we done earlier is um, any MySQL instance was used to create a cluster role for reading the MySQL version from the MySQL uh, coordinator, but now we have fixed that. So similar bug fix for Redis also. So in Redis, uh, uh, in Redis earlier versions uh, supported by KubeDB, uh, what we did was uh, the Redis instances were used to create a cluster role for each of the database instances. Uh, resulting in granting access to Sentinel instances. But now, in order to grant Redis instances access to Sentinel instances, only one cluster role named KubeDB Redis Sentinel Reader is created, uh, which is uh, devoid of the uh, owner reference. We have done some improvement in Kafka and MariaDB support. Uh, for Kafka, Docker images will be using the OpenJDK based Java version. Uh, 11 instead of Java version 8, uh, as Kafka recommends using them in order to uh, 
for, for better compatibility with the latest systems and security. And uh, Java 8 has been there for a while now. So there, uh, there are not much uh, maintainability in that. So in our future versions, we'll be using OpenJDK West Java version 11. And finally, for MariaDB, the default value for spec.wsrp uh, snapshot uh, transfer method will be resync now. And previously, it was set to Maria Backup. If you want to set it, reset it to Maria Backup, you can reconfigure, reconfigure it in the MariaDB spec section. So this was everything that we have done uh, in this release. Uh, I hope you will use uh, this, um, this release. Uh, you, you will upgrade your QDB to our latest release and uh, let us know uh, how, are, how are you using it. And now you can ask me any question if you have regarding this release and this session. I think there are no questions right now. So in order to install the latest crypto release, you can visit crypto.com and that you will find details about uh, our latest release, our features and how to install crypto onto your cloud Kubernetes cluster. And you can contact the app store team anytime. So that's it, that's it for today.